So I'm sure um, some MPs are in the House. What yeah. exactly is going on? Has uh, and Parliament is also expected to rise today, is it? Yes, the House is expected to rise today uh, and, and go for the Christmas break. But I mean, as usual, you, you will recall that um, the budget estimates for the various ministries and MMDS is being considered now. Uh, they are not done with it, and the House also needs. Uh, to approve the appropriation uh, for uh, the budget before they rise. So it's quite a tall order today. But as we speak with you, know, there's quite a lot of issues that's going on with respect to uh, the approval of sums for the MMDs for the year ending 31st December 2023. So uh, quite a number of them is still on 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 uh, the other paper that has to be considered but i mean one one other issue that has come up just like you had yeah. indicated early on regarding the minority talking some success uh, with respect to shooting down some some motives of the government or some uh some intentions of the government to have the construction of the cathedral done the minorities once again uh had the construction of the Accra International Conference Center, or a newly built uh, uh, conference center to the standard of an international level at the cost of 116 million euros. That's about 1.3 billion Ghana cities shut down once again. And this was done at the, uh, 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 at the plenary, when, whilst the ministry, the committee was uh, presenting its uh, report on the estimate of um, this amount, 816,754,500 pounds, for the ensuing year for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, the minority MPs were quite straightforward on the matter that with the current condition the country is facing, the economic issues that the country is going through now, you cannot afford to be doing constructions of this nature because or you are going to find difficulty raising the money. Even if you raise the money, it would affect other aspects of the economy as well. So they, they have resolved amongst themselves as a minority and pushed forward that, okay, they would approve the budget of the ministry, though, but it will be minus the construction of the conference center as well as new embassies or missions because well, that's in Morocco and then other other parts of the world. The house did go on to approve it, but they did approve, but without the construction of the foreign affairs, uh, the the conference center. We can listen to this as, as it ensued in the house. We have cautioned that in this hour, of economic crisis at a time that the finance ministry has put out a statement that for the first time probably since the 70s the champion era of yen to min tia, a yen tia, we cannot meet our external debt servicing obligations we cannot mr speaker be pursuing what i call prestige projects projects that are non-essential projects that can wait so mr speaker we want to place on record that we do not think it is a great idea at this time to be opening a new diplomatic mission in Jamaica, in Trinidad and Tobago, and in Mexico, as has been programmed for projects to be executed in 2023. We have conveyed our strong objection to this plan by the ministry. Mr. Speaker, related to this is another prestige project which we believe must be put on ice. And that project can be seen from pages 18 to 20, which is the Accra International Conference Center Redevelopment Project. Mr. Speaker, it will surprise you to hear that a whopping 160 million euros, 160 million euros has been earmarked for this project in what is being described as a PPP arrangement. We want the House and the Hansa to record that our side does not support this project, particularly at this time. We have not seen the Structural Integrity Report. 
We have not seen the value for money report. We have not seen the feasibility studies report. Now, Mr. Speaker, you are talking about redevelopment of the Accra International Conference Center. And you are saying PPP. There is now a PPP Act. Let's see fidelity and respect to the requirement of the PPP law and respect for it. But can that also wait? When the country is in this economic crisis, you are interested in building a conference center. It is not a priority for 2023. You can defer it into some other year. In 2019, when my uh, senior colleague Anor was chairman of the committee and Okujetu was ranking, he supported, but they visited the site and he supported the project coming down um, for reconstruction under a PPP. Mr. Speaker, last year, last year, last year, I was chairman of the Foreign Affairs. Last year, I was chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee. If the Hansard um, can be referenced, he was my ranking. We presented to this floor, approving that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs can go ahead with the construction, with the project of securing funding for the construction of the Accra International Conference Centre. When we met at the committee. There's no, on no occasion did we agree that the, the committee as a whole will not support the construction of the budget. As captured in the report is right, some members raise concern that due to the times that we are in, the project should be shelved. In good times, we can revisit the, the project. So it should not come to, it should not be presented as though the committee agreed to shelve the project as my ranking, you can please take your seat, as my ranking is so presenting it. All the other issues um, will continue to engage the committee, uh, whether it's the AICC, the uh, to do with the structural integrity report, which is there, the value for money, and any other uh, uh, requests that will come from the, from the committee uh, seeking um, really to support us uh, in ensuring that um, Ghana puts its best foot forward when it comes to international conferences. Many, many people, many countries want to come here for international conferences. We don't have a fit for purpose uh, conference center. In any case, this is a, a, a revenue uh, a, a generator, really. And um, we will. Right, so yeah, Kamala, clearly it looks as though there's still a debate about whether or not the conference center should be put up. And the government position is that though there was an agreement earlier, they are surprised that the minority led by Okuje Tuablakwa is asking for uh, that to be put on hold or put on ice. But you have other two key things to wrap up with us and let us know what's happening in parliament. Yes, you would recall yesterday we, we, we've we had to do the story regarding whether the special prosecutor's office is going to have their budgetary allocation uh, approved for the ensuing year 2023. Uh, well, it's been tabled here on the on the paper, but my checks at the committee, as, as, I'm, as I'm speaking with you now, before I went on, I've had checks uh, with the members of the committee that the legal, constitutional and parliamentary affairs we are told that the chief director of the Ministry of Finance, uh, together with the special prosecutor, have not had any conclusion regarding the payment of, of uh, salary areas for the SP and then his staff for the 15 months. And members of the minority are indicating if this is not resolved, mm. they are not going to approve. They are not going to approve the budget of the SP. So. I, 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 I'm just hoping that this will quickly be resolved before the leave. If it's not done, it presupposes that the special prosecutor may be going into 2023 without any monetary support whatsoever. Right. Thank you.